Dwayne Bryant here from wagertalk.com, coming to you on Wager Talk TV with another edition of DB's Freebies. I'm a little bit under the weather this week, um, so I'm going to try to get through this without having to cough or constantly clear my throat, so please bear with me. Um, do you have any NFL betting topics you'd like me to cover, or do you have any general handicapping questions you'd like me to answer? Um, if you do, uh, let me know uh, in the comments below. Uh, we're going to get things started here with the Look Ahead line segment. Uh, these are the lines that the Westgate puts out on the Tuesday of the week before the games. So all lines referenced here are Westgate lines. And we are going to start things off with the Thursday night game. It is Jacksonville at the New York Jets. Uh, we're going to look at the total here. The total opened at 42. It is now down to 37 and a half, so a 40, a four and a half point move. Um, this is all about the weather forecast. Uh, heavy rain is expected with winds 10 to 20 miles per hour. Uh, I do like primetime unders, and I lean that way here as long as 37 and a half is still available uh, as a 20 to 17 game as a winning under ticket. What I don't like uh, is that everybody figures to be on the under here because of the weather, and I do not like when I'm with the majority, uh, so I'll probably pass on this one. Uh, beings at Christmas is on Sunday. A uh, majority of the NFL games are on Saturday. This next one is a Saturday game. It's the New Orleans Saints at the Cleveland Browns. Again, we're going to look at the total. Uh, the look-ahead total was 38. This is all the way down now to 31.5, so a 6.5-point drop. Uh, this is another weather game, uh, but this one is much worse than the Thursday game. They're calling for snow and temps in the teens, uh, but the real issue here is the wind, uh, which is expected to be 20 to 30 miles per hour sustained with gusts over 40 miles per hour. That'll definitely affect the passing and kicking games. Uh, that being said, I can't go under a total this low. Uh, the Browns are great at running the football, and both of these defenses rank in the bottom 10 in rushing yards allowed per game. So I can see this game sneaking over the total despite the conditions. Uh, another Saturday game, the Buffalo Bills at the Chicago Bears. Again, we're looking at the total, which uh, the look ahead was 45 and a half. It has now dropped five and a half points. It is down to 40. Uh, and this is another weather-related total um, move. It's going to be extremely cold in Chicago with a temp around 10 degrees and the feels-like temp of about negative 10. Uh, and wind will also be a factor here with sustained winds around 20 to 25 miles per hour and gusts around 35 miles per hour. So again, the passing and kicking games will be impacted. But I hesitate to bet the under here because we have two mobile quarterbacks. The Bears are number one in rushing yards per game thanks to Justin Fields. And the Bears are also sixth worst in rushing yards allowed per game. Uh, this is another total that I doubt I get involved in because I don't think there's enough value left on the under. But I also can't bet the over in those conditions. Moving on, we're going to look at the Houston Texans at the Tennessee Titans. The look-ahead line was Titans minus 8.5. That is now down to minus 5. Uh, so we've crossed the key number of 7 here. And this move is based largely on Houston's last two games in which they damn near beat the Cowboys in Dallas, then took the Chiefs into overtime last Sunday. Uh, but I think their recent competitiveness is more a case of uh, far superior teams not giving a max effort and thinking they can just show up uh, and beat the one-win Texans. But I don't think the Titans will approach this game like that. Uh, Tennessee has lost four straight, and its AFC South lead is down to just a single game over Jacksonville. So the Titans really need a win here. Uh, Tennessee only beat the Texans by a touchdown in Week 8. So that, uh, coupled with the current four-game skid, and I think uh, we'll see a solid effort from the Titans here. My DVOA-based projection is Titans by 7, uh, so I do see some value laying the 5 with Tennessee. Next up, we've got uh, the Philadelphia Eagles at the Dallas Cowboys. The look-ahead line was Dallas minus 1.5. That is now at minus 4.5 as I record this on Wednesday morning. That line has was actually up at minus 5.5 at one point on Tuesday. 
And this move is all about the status of Eagles QB Jalen Hurts. Uh, he suffered a sprained throwing shoulder on Sunday against the Bears. He hasn't been ruled out of this game, though. Uh, and if it's announced that Hurts will play, this number will likely cross back through the key number of three. My DVOA-based projection is a pick'em, uh, but that's based on data uh, with Hurts as the quarterback. So I do think the value is on the Eagles right now, but keep in mind that Dallas is 3-0 straight up and against the spread this season when coming off a loss, uh, beating the Bengals, Lions, and Vikings by a combined 84-26. to uh, And I pass when the value in the situational data conflicts like that. The better play here might be the under. Uh, the Cowboys have gone under in all three games uh, following a loss this season, uh, with that defense allowing just 8.7 points per game. Now, this total has dipped from 50.5 down to 46, uh, with Hertz's status in question, but I do still see some value at 45 or better. Let's move on to a Christmas Sunday game here. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the Arizona Cardinals. The look-ahead line was Tampa Bay minus 3. That is now up to minus 6.5. I believe this line move is about Cards QB Kyler Murray being done for the season. Uh, in games Murray started, Arizona averaged 21.8 points per game. In the three games Murray has missed, the Cardinals averaged only 17.3 points per game. Uh, so a drop-off of 4.5 points per game there. Uh, the NFC South is anybody's for the taking. Uh, the Bucks are 6-8, and eight, um, and they're leading it, but just by a game over the Panthers, Saints, and Falcons, who are all 5-9. and nine. So Brady and company could sure use a win here. Uh, my DVOA base projection is Bucks by 5, but that was using Cardinals data that was mostly with Murray at quarterback. So I think we can tack on a couple points with Murray being out. But I don't see myself laying nearly a touchdown on the road with a team that's won 10 and 1 against the spread in their last 12 games and whose only win over the last month was by a single point at home against the Saints. I doubt I have any action on this Christmas night matchup. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will do it for this week's Look Ahead Line segment. Before we get to the free play, I do have a quick favor to ask. Please hit the thumbs up button and click the subscribe button if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. And also, before the free play, I got to tell you about two deals going on right now at Wager Talk. Number one, from now until midnight on Christmas, you can use coupon code GIFT25 and you'll get 25% off everything in your shopping cart. Uh, the coupon can only be used once at Wager Talk and once at Sports Memo but it's good for 25% off everything you put in your cart. Number two, um, as I record this on Wednesday morning, I'm currently number one at Wager Talk in college football, units one, win percentage, and ROI this season, and I'm already 2-0 in the bowls. So if you head over to dbbets.com right now, grab my college football bowl package, and use coupon code BOWL99 at checkout, You'll get the rest of my college football bowl plays for just $99. It's a savings of $50, bucks, and you can get that right now at dbbets.com. Now, uh, for this week's free NFL play, I'm going to go back to a game I touched on in the Look Ahead Lines segment. Uh, I'm going to go back uh, with the Tennessee Titans minus 5 over the Houston Texans. I just think these last two weeks were about as good as it's going to get for Houston. Uh, they were seconds away from beating the Cowboys in Dallas. They took the Chiefs to overtime last Sunday. But I think those two games were just cases of A, far superior teams taking them lightly, and B, Houston's new 2QB attack. Uh, but the Titans now have two games worth of film on that, uh, so they should be ready for it. And with Tennessee's AFC South lead down to just one game over Jacksonville, uh, thanks to their current four-game losing streak, I'm expecting a solid effort at home here by the Titans. Uh, they only beat Houston by a touchdown in the first meeting, uh, and that coupled with Houston's last two games being competitive against top teams. The Titans won't be taking them lightly here. Uh, Houston allows the most rushing yards per game, so expect the Titans to ride Derrick Henry to a win and cover in this one. So your free NFL play for Week 16 is to take the Tennessee Titans minus 5 over the Houston Texans, and I do like them at minus 6.5 or better. 
What are your best bets for NFL Week 16? Uh, let me know in the comments below this video. And that'll do it for this edition of DB's Freebies. Don't forget to head over to dbbets.com and use coupon code GIFT25 to get 25% off every package in your shopping cart. And also coupon code BOWL99 to get my college football bowl package for just $99. And until next time, be smart, bet smart, and good luck on all your wagers.